The newly elected Congress government in Karnataka has been all about guarantees and change, whether it's the promise of undoing what they term wrongdoings of the past BJP regime or guaranteeing the welfare of people of the state. But it looks like more the things change, the more they remain the same. The latest instance being the Grand Old Party's disposition towards giving a preemptive clean shit to anti-India forces. The man at the center of controversy this time is Karnataka's Home Minister, G. Parmeshwara. Watch right how after the state's top cop declared that they had arrested five people for planning to carry out a terror attack, the man who's in charge of law and order in the state chose to give them a very wide berth. They were inside uh, uh, jail uh, under trial prisoners regarding this case. They came in contact with uh, T. Nazir, one of the main accused in uh, 2008 uh, Syrian blast uh, case. And T. Nazir, it is uh, uh, seen, uh, seems to have radicalized these individuals, especially the one who is now absconding abroad. And uh, uh, the person who is uh, presently abroad, he has uh, uh, activated this module and he has uh, um, supplied these uh, uh, weapons and other uh, uh, equipments for the purpose of carrying out certain subversive activities in Bangalore city. Terrorist Remember, this benefit of doubt is for those who've been booked under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. While Home Minister might have her doubts, uh, his doubts are today, the Joint Commissioner of Police, D.R. Sharnapa, once again said that the Central Crime Branch sleuths found four hand grenades from one of the arrested terror suspects. It is only after this that G. Parmeshwar chose to, or was perhaps forced to, course correct. We have found special teams to investigate this case in all the angles. Yesterday we have produced all the arrested five accused before the magistrate and we have taken them for seven days custody. During custodial questioning, one of the accused revealed about suspicious packet kept in his house. In this connection, the investigating officer and the team along with BDDES and FSL experts, they went to the place and they have successfully recovered four live hand grenades from one of the accused. The investigation is being continued. Not at the moment, I said. Yeah. So BJP See, said subsequently, yeah. we are now trying to find out whether they have any links with the terrorist groups. Yeah, that now, now we correct it. I will correct my statement. The preliminary statement I have made, and today we have found four hand grenades. So naturally they are linked to the terrorist groups. No, but you... Which group they have, uh, uh, you know, connections, we will find out. So, but they are saying that your earlier statement was to hide the fact that they, uh, because World Bank politics, you are not... Uh, no, 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 that's nonsense. Now I say they are linked no, to a terrorist group, which we will establish subsequently. BJP calls it nothing but another example of Congress's long-standing proclivity towards appeasement. He said that as far as law and order is concerned, I'll get the report, including terrorist issue which has been uh, done yesterday. And uh, the Home Minister has taken it very lightly, hmm. saying that we can't call them terrorists so soon. Yes. If this is the attitude of the government, then uh, it will give a very big boost to the terrorist activities. It is uncalled for any government to do this. So we asked him to report the same thing to Indian Home Ministry. I think Congress party, uh, wherever uh, is uh, come to government, there is a uh, active of uh, terrorist. That is the uh, seeing in Karnataka uh, because uh, they released a KFD, Popular Friend. They are a terrorist uh, organization. In the cabinet only decided 150 cases a withdrawal. That's why after uh, this Congress government, the terrorists are very active in Karnataka. Cooker bomb blast, 
ಆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೆ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಅವರು ಅಮಾಯಕರು ಅಂತ ಬಿಂಬಿಸಿದರು ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ದುರುದ್ದೇಶಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂಧಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ವಿಷಾಂತರ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊರಟಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಇವತ್ತು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರವು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬಂದಿರಬಹುದು ಆದರೆ ಉಗ್ರರ ಜಾಲ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಉಗ್ರಗಾಮಿ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆ ನಡೆಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ನಿರ್ವಿವಾದವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸಂಗತಿ This is across to our guest joining us with us is Madhu N Rao spokesperson of the BJP Ratan Shah as an author joining us with us also is Amrit Shah political analyst uh, Asuddin is spokesperson of the JDS joining us let me first and foremost go across to Amrit Shah Amrit Shah very very direct attack coming in from the BJP they are saying this is nothing but yet another example of appeasement politics how can a home minister not know who is a terrorist and who is not a terrorist no no government is taking what is to be done government is doing that bjp is frustrated bjp has lost elections miserably they have nothing to say now they always find something about terrorism hindu muslim all these issues are their favorite but government has arrested them and uh, today i saw in your own news channel that home minister told just now that no no he clarified his earlier statement so let's let's for a moment mr shonai leave aside what the bjp is saying on record on the face of it you have two statements of the home minister of the state in the first statement he specifically says that we can't define them as a terrorist we can define them as an accused we will have to look into who they were talking to etc after the commissioner of police talks about the fact that they were influenced by mr t nazir who is mr t nazir we all know he was the mastermind of 2008 blast now if such a influence has happened and if such a statement has been given of recovery of weapons etc from these individuals why is the home minister in such a hurry to give a clean sheet is the question mr shanai can you hear me no 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 you are confusing the audience we were seeing the home minister is not giving any clean sheet maybe no error is accused and today he is little more confident that they are jumping into conclusion so so he should not yes, even he should not home minister does not even know what police commissioner is saying in a press conference then what kind of a home minister is he sir no no he knows everything he will why did he not say so that? why did he give a wrong statement yesterday <laughs> if he knows everything then he should say the accurate position if he is either not informed or he is does not want to know or whether it is for some kind of politics whatever be the reason certainly we cannot have the home minister calling terrorist as a normal accused there is See, a reason we have unlawful activities prevention home act in the country no sir is most home minister is most experienced honest politician is senior most he knows how to deal with all these things okay he cannot speak the exactly what if you want to speak him no 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 sir he, we, we, i don't know i don't want him to speak anything but the facts that's all one wa- expects from a minister that he speak only. facts but in this particular no, case the facts are not the them. facts in the first instance were not adding up he was forced to change his position let madhu and rao now come in <laughs> madhu rao you don't have any other issue that's why you're picking up these Madhu. issues bjp always picks up issues such as terror says mr amrit shanoi please respond to amado good evening just give me one one minute uninterrupted time as simple as this i think the congress party has lost its sense i mean they are accusing us of uh, making up these issues and talking to them i just want to remind them only one thing look at you you have got 44 seats in 2014 and 52 seats in 2019 fair enough that aside now i am very sure that the people who have been arrested so called brothers of mr dks were not here in bangalore to crack some five crackers uh, they had come to play to a dominant role in terror activity and i am so baffled to listen to the obnoxious statement by the home minister who is constitutionally elected to this government to say that they are only accused we cannot say at this point of time they cannot they, they are terrorists in such a case mr dk is also in the dk dk shukumar is also in accused he is out on bail rahul gandhi is also in accused he is on bail sonia gandhi is also accused who is on bail so you want to equate everyone then that is why we just want to differentiate who is terrorist and who is a normal accused point 1 point 2 i mean look at how the day in and day out the law and order activities have taking place in karnataka day in and day out we are seeing murders happening that's because of this appeasement politics of the congress party people have got license to do whatever they want 
they are free to do what they want madhav i just want to tell you one thing don't we remember the same congress party miss mrs sonia gandhi weeping seeing the pictures of the batla house encounter okay. there is saying that they are all they are all you know i i feel pity for them point okay one, amrit should i yeah yeah you made you made point a number two. of points i just made, i just finished my point yeah these were the very same persons who released pfi 1600 pfi activists okay. in 175 cases okay and amrit chunai you me all right amrit what chunai actions of past congress party? regimes and congress leaders in karnataka and otherwise alleges mr madhurao is prompting them to raise questions about whether this has been done with some kind of political intent because of what has happened in the past i want two minutes and you promise me will not intervene Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Please respond quickly. Quickly respond. We have limited time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, all this my colleague spoke here, BJP spokesperson. Everything they spoke uh, plenty of times during the elections. Unfortunately, people rejected them. They came across a very, very miserable defeat. Now they are talking about every day murder is going on. All murder. What they spoke. Everybody is arrested. Every government is so quick and alert. That Jain Muni and other that some Hindu Sangatana from all all uh, the criminals murderers they have been arrested now also all these accused or terrorist whatever it may be they are arrested investigation is going on I right. can give you hundred example what happened during the BJP's regime okay. so many murders have taken place. Still, nothing was done. Okay. That's why people rejected BJP. All right. So At the police will be doing their the job. The under. police will be doing their job. But today's subject of discussion is really whether the Home Minister should be referring to terror accused as simple accused, and whether he should not perhaps be better informed from his own department. He's heading. I think that's the point of discussion. Nevertheless, Ratan Sharda, I want you to take that question. He says that uh, all these issues may have come up in the election, but certainly people were still not enthused by it. You know, when the police is acting with alacrity, there's no reason for the BJP to blame this government. That's the comment coming in from Amrit Shurai. Please respond to him. This is highly dangerous, Madhavan, because if you start uh, responding to terror because of the election, when you have and gloat over it, it shows a total lack of national security issues. When the uh, IT minister of Karnataka, Mr. Khadge, son of Mr. Khadge, says that, uh, you know, we uh, talks about the terror case and says uh, it is some kind of, uh, uh, you know, we will. Uh, he spoke something about the terror attack because he was not supposed to talk. Who is he? Now today, Home Minister talks about it. Remember, in after the election, the Muslim leader said that Congress has won because of us. We want Deputy Chief Minister. They claim that 72 of the seats are won only because of Muslims. So, and we are responsible for 11 out of 15 wins of Congress. So they want that pound of flesh. When they, that is why the Home Minister doesn't open his mouth. That is the dangerous thing. And let me come back a little to the history. You talked about Coimbatore, uh, Mangalore blast, but DK Shivakumar said it was some mistake. So you, you, uh, you, uh, you. The mistake was that the auto rickshaw slammed and it burst up. That was a mistake. Otherwise, some more people have died. As far as the record of uh, you know safety is concerned, nine of the murders of Hindu activists they have accepted in their own in their own reports. BJP talked of sixteen. They agreed to nine. So right. is nine murders in the regime enough? I will give some names because the people keep on throwing names. Praveen Pujari, auto driver, key D Kotappa, BJP person, fell in, fled from the building, escaping stone throwing. Prashant Pujari, cow protector, killed. Sharath Maniwala, RSS person, Deepak Rao, Rajesh Kotian, Paresh Mesta, Rudresh, Raju, Vishwanath. All these people died during Congress regime, and only two cases were running, and two cases they were okay. acquitted. So okay. this shoddy investigation they do. Okay, so there's selective, the there's right selective use of the police machinery. That is a very serious charge and I want to bring Mr. Asaduddin on this because Mr. Asaduddin, apart from this particular example, Mr. Ratan Sharda has cited several other examples where he has alleged there's some kind of political intent or political motivation in the manner in which cases of law and order, particularly serious crimes and crimes such as terror are investigated in Karnataka. That's a very serious charge that he's making. Mr. Asaduddin. Yeah. Uh... Actually, uh, Janata Dal Secular does not want to politicize it. We do not want to attribute any political motives to the Home Minister. And at the same time, we don't want to go into the past, a, a, a sort of mudslinging. We do not want to do that. Coming to the current... Okay, uh, forget mudslinging, sir. Forget current. mudslinging. Administratively, yeah. if I may ask you a question. At, if you have yeah. a Home Minister who does not uh -huh. know what his own police commissioner has said publicly, 
How does that reflect on the state government? It's a simple question. It can be in any state or any department. Yeah, it can be in any state. The Home Minister was supposed to, before issuing a statement, it was supposed to be updated totally about the, about the case. But he did not do it, and uh, he, he should be blamed for that. But at the same time, uh, we appreciate today the way Home Minister changed his statement when new uh, evidence came up like a uh, recovery of hand grenades from the house etc now it is a clear cut sir case there was there were recovery of weapons announced on the previous day also there were there were recovery of weapons were announced by mr dayanand are you not aware did you not see mr dayanand's press those conference are. you are in bengaluru i hope you are yeah. at least slightly those better are. informed than the home minister those, or are you so are. not informed yesterday yesterday what was recovered was uh countrymate pistols Contimate pistols and a set of walkie-talkie. After some more evidence cropped up, like recovery of hand grenades, okay. he corrected himself. Actually, he should have been, before issuing the first statement, he should have been very responsible. Sir, I think there was enough was material in the first press conference to actually have made, a, uh, to not have made a statement saying that they are just simple accused. But let me bring in other panelists on that. Uh, let me bring in, in fact, uh, Madhu and Rao. Madhu and Rao, was there enough material stated by the Commissioner of Police of Bengaluru in the first place or not? Madhav, perhaps my friend panelist has not seen the uh, press uh, conference of uh, Mr. Dayananda, the Bangalore Police Commissioner. I mean, I am actually very baffled that even the police commissioner, you know what the words we have be, be used carefully by the police commissioner, he told possible subversive activity. I think look at the tutoring what has been done by the Congress party to the, even the police. The police says that uh, four hand grenades, seven pistols, 45 live cartridges, walkie-talkie have been taken. And of all, he says, T. Nazir, who's linked to the ICS and also the 2008 blast is associated with these five people and of all he says the Bangalore police commissioner says it's a subversive activity even okay. they do not have the gumption to say that it is a terror a terror suspect okay. I mean this is this is the really the action of the Congress party which baffles us and astonishes us Mr. I mean let let it yeah. let them say that this is a terror suspect what's so wrong about you it you have you have so, some of those recoveries on the screen including walkie talkies including country made pistols yeah. that were shown on the very first day the fact that the home minister is not aware of what his department has done in that light mr asuddin is extremely shocking and certainly of course as citizens they would have every right to ask what exactly are our elected leaders doing what are ministers doing sir there should be zero tolerance for terrorism there should be zero tolerance of terrorism but at the same time we should not jump to the conclusions before uh, preliminary come investigations on. no when what the fresh evidence about? has come up so you don't believe the cops you don't believe the cops in a case of terror is that what you're saying the, the, mr mr Kami, the commissioner Dianan said yesterday 42 he live bullets he said country made pistols Seems are there to... on your screen sir walkie talkies are there he is talking about how they were radicalized by an individual by the name of t nazir inside the jail what does this all point what? out to in your view they that they were out to do social service in bangalore they were out to do social service according to you yeah, with yeah, country made weapons with walkie talkies they were out to do social service mr asuddin please tell me about t, about t nazir also the exact sentence of the commissioner was that t nazir seems seems to have radicalized them okay. there was doubt Okay. Right, but after according to you, the, there's uh, doubt. According to you, there's still he, doubt. He doubted, and he expressed it. Okay. And he expressed it as okay. a okay. Let Ratan Sharda come in on that. According to Ratan Sharda, according to Mr. Asuddin, there was a lot of room for doubt, which is why one could not have jumped to this conclusion that they are indeed terror accused, and that they should have been only accused. Ratan Sharda. See, first of all, the people who say it has been communalization. So when you say that terror is no religion, how does uh, calling some people terrorists because they carry arms and ammunition become communal? So they are playing hypocritical game. Secondly, what did Mr. Khadke say? He said we will not give it to central agencies because our police is good enough. So when the national nation is worried about the terror activities, we know that network of terrorists runs across from Kerala to Assam to uh, Rajasthan and everywhere. Why this should not be given to NI, etc. so that network is busted? The trying to protect them in the name of uh, Karnataka police shows they are not serious about the terror attacks at all. Why can't they share the intelligence with the central agencies? Please tell me. And who is Khadge, IT minister? On one side, it's a terrorist, no religion. Then you say that you are playing communalization. Then you say I will not give it to central agencies because you want to show that there is no need, there is no international conspiracy, there is no terror conspiracy. 
What kind of government is this? If they are not communal, they are totally inept. That's what I would say. Okay, Amrit Chona, very serious questions coming in from uh, Ratan Chanda. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that there is no religion as far as terror is concerned and then when issues are raised saying that this is an attempt at communalization. Both those logics don't go hand in hand is Ratan Chanda's charge. Please respond to him. Is it, the question is to me. Amrit Chanda, question for Amrit Chanda. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I... But, uh, no, Ratan Sharda is quoting Priyank Kharge to say that you simply can't say at the same time that terror is no religion and that this is an attempt to communalize an act of terror. How can both those arguments go hand in hand is this question? No, no, absolutely. Every panelist here is uh, expecting so many things so early and uh, you all or everybody should have a what patience. Do you have a system in place? In there is a system. You want a bomb and, to take place in Bangalore? What is he talking about, Madhav? What else? No, 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 no. Want? What do you, sir, is it too much to expect what action is it, on want, terror? You want a bomb to take place in Bangalore? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm just, I'm just telling you that. Careful on the Congress the party. Investigation will take place and everything will be revealed. Keep on doing investigation till time immemorial. Our and panelist is happen. speaking you like a judge. Then. So it's not, it's not the way. It's not the way to handle any issues. All right. Sir, some... many would say it was highly insensitive of the Home Minister also to call a terror accused as a simple accused and try and water down the charges. There are charges of whether this was done with some political intent. There are also questions about whether he was not properly informed. Whatever be the case, certainly when it comes to important high-profile cases such as terror, the necessary sensitivity, alacrity, alertness of the state government can actually prevent such ghastly acts from taking place. The police may have certainly done their job, but also sensitization of the political class is something that is very, very important in such cases. We'll just have to leave it there. Madhu and Rao, Ratan Sharda, Amrit Shanoi, Asuddin Ji, thank you so much for joining us this evening.